comedy lined up for you tonight with Franz and Veronica a little later on. First on two, we're still in that jungle with Ray. Good evening and welcome along to Blackboard Jungle. Now in the second semi-final of this group we had all the D's. We had drama, disappointment and delight. And our delighted party are back this evening to take part in the group final. And they are St. Jarrett's College from Chum. Just remind us about that second semi-final. Um, we came off 42-41 uh, for us and um, the team we were beating, they missed a question. Uh, just at the very just end. Very end. The very end. Very close, very close. Right, and who did you beat in the first game? Our high school Rathgar. Right, you. Uh, reintroduce to your teammates. Uh, this is Pat Leonard and Kieran Murphy. Well, welcome back and good luck to Pat, John, and Kieran. And they represent St. Charles College from Chum. <laughs> and their opponents in this group final are from St. Finbar's Seminary in Farron Ferris in Cork City. And their team captain is Anthony O'Connor. Welcome back, Anthony. Thanks, Pat. Who did you beat on the way to the final? Uh, in the first round, we beat Ross Common CBS by 49 to 42. And in the second round, we beat Moyle College Clondalk and by 45 to 41. That was close enough. Yeah. Reintroduce it to your teammates. On my right here is uh, Conor O'Donoghue, and on my left is Padraig Cantle and Murphy. Right, well, welcome back, and good luck in this group final to Conor, Anthony, and Padraig, and they represent St. Finbars from Cork City. <laughs> we have some great prizes to give away this evening in this group final. I'll tell you about those in a moment, but first, the complete Blackboard Jungle prize pool. It's personal stereos for everyone who takes part. As we walk our way through, we have CD Walkmans and CD Ghetto Blasters. At the semi-final stages, the individual prizes include PlayStations and 14-inch tellies. Then in the final, a Sony camcorder for the runners-up, and for the champs, the trophy and the Blackboard Jungle minibus. And this evening, our runners-up will get a CD Walkman each, and the winning team will get a CD Ghetto Blaster each, and more importantly for them, they'll be in the final 12 of 96 teams, which means they qualify for Phase 2 of this year's Blackboard Jungle. So let's get this group final started, and we go to Einstein, and ask him to make his first selection of the evening for St. Charlotte's from Toom. Sport it is. Stay. Tom, will you stay where you go? Stay. Stay. Right, Kieran, two questions for you. With which sport do you associate Pat Smullen and John Reed? Pat Smullen and John Reed. Confer. Conferring. Switch sport, you associate Pat Smullen and John Reed. Okay. Horse racing. It's correct. Both of them are jockeys. You get a point for that. Your second question is this The Anglo Celt Cup is the senior Gaelic football trophy in which province? Ulster. It's correct. My right, Pat, two sports questions for you. Your first one is on soccer. Three countries hosted the World Cup during the 1970s. Can you name two of them? Germany and Argentina. It's correct. That's Germany and Argentina. The other one was Mexico in 1970. Two points there. Your second question. Legendary hurling forwards Liam Chunky O'Brien and Tommy Langton played for which Leinster County? Okay, Kenny. It's correct. Team Captain John, your two questions. In which decade did the great Rocky Marciano win the World Heavyweight Championship and retire undefeated? Which decade? 50s. He's correct. He won it in 52 and retired in 56. Your second question. Flavio Briatore is managing director of which Italian Formula One team? Ferrari. No, it's Benetton. But that's a good opening round. You're on nine. Will you go for the honest question for one? Yeah. yeah. You will? Okay. It'll bring you to double, double figures. Uh, it's a geography question for one point. Here it is. What's the official language of the Cayman Islands? For one point. The official language of the Cayman Islands? English. It's correct, you get your point. So at the end of that round, two are on ten points. <laughs> That's a good start for the lads in this group final. And uh, we're still in round one for St. Finbars. What will Einstein select for them? It is geography for you, Anthony. Will you stay or will you go? It will stay. Stay on that. Right, Connor, two questions for you. Pittsburgh is a major city in which American state? Pennsylvania. It's correct. Question number two. Charles J. Hawhey's island of Inishvikilon lies off the coast of which Munster County? County Kerry. It's correct. Podrick, your two questions. Beginning with the letter B, in which English county would you find Luton Airport? Uh, 
Confer. Conferring. The answer letter B, in which English county would you find Luton Airport? Bedfordshire. It's correct, you get a point there. And your second question. Vizcaya is the Basque name for which European bay? Could you repeat the question, yeah. please? Vizcaya, spelled V-I-Z-C-A-Y-A, is the Basque name for which European bay? Bay of Biscay. It's correct. Two points there. Team Captain Anthony, your two questions. Which Italian von... Sorry, I'll start again. Which Italian volcano is 10,855 feet high? Etna. It's correct. Mount Etna. And your second question. What did the Congo River become known as after 1971? Think about it. What did the Congo River become, no become known as after 1971? Confirm. Confirm. Yeah. Desire. Yeah, the river Zaire. Right. So that's a good opening by you as well. You're on 10. Will you go for the honours for one? You take it, please, sir. You take it. Right. Okay, it's a political question. It's also a visual one, so have a look in your little tellies there. That's Geoffrey Donaldson, MP, but of which Northern Ireland political party is he a member? The Ulster Unionist Party. It's correct. You get your points at the end of that round. Fern Ferris on 11 points. Well done. <laughs> so a high-scoring close opening round in this Group 11 final. We enter round two now, and we ask Einstein once again to select from his six categories for St. Charlotte's. They got sport in the first round. This time it's geography for you. Will you stay or will you go? Stay. Stay on that. Okay, Kieran, two questions. On which continent will you find the Republic of Suriname? South America. It's correct. Well done, your second question. What's the largest lake in Scotland? Lot Lomond. It's correct. Right, Pat, here are two questions. In which English city is the Roman Catholic Diocese of Salford? In which English city is the Roman Catholic Diocese of Salford? Manchester. It's correct. Your second question. A car bearing the international vehicle registration letters PL comes from which European country? PL. Confirm. Confirm. A car bearing the international vehicle registration letters PL comes from which European country? Portugal. No. Portugal is just P. PL is for Poland. Right. Think Captain John. Bartra Island lies in which Mayo Bay? Clue. No, it's Killala Bay. Your second question. Drenthe and Gelderland are provinces in which EU country? Yeah, Drenthe, spelled D-R-E-N-T-H-E, and Gelderland are provinces in which EU country? Holland. It's correct. Right, you're on 18. Will you go for the honours for two? Yeah. Yeah, it'll bring you up to 20. It's an audio question, so listen to this. Okay, the question is, which band did you just hear for two points? You two. Yeah, last night on Earth. You get your two points. So at the end of that round, two more on 20 points. Well done. Still round two for Baron Ferris. They got geography in the first round. And that's happened in the second round. Let's see what Einstein selects for them in the second round. Music and entertainment, Anthony. Will you stay or will you go? We'll stay. Stay on that. Right, Connor. two questions for you. Who presents the Channel 4 comedy improvisation show, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Confer. Conferring. Who presents Clive Anderson. Is correct. Your second question. EV3 was the title of a 1997 album by which American all-girl group? EV3. En Vogue. Is correct. Podrick, your two questions. Which Italian composer wrote the opera Tosca? Which Italian composer? Confer. Conferring. Which Italian composer wrote the opera Tosca? Puccini. Puccini is correct. You get a point there. And your second question. Which member of Blur is a qualified pilot? Is it Alex James or Dave Rowntree? Dave Rowntree. That's correct, I guess, but they all count. Uh, Anthony, your two questions. Who played the male lead in the hit romantic comedy One Fine Day? George Clooney. That's correct. And your, sep your second question. Robin Banks and Pizza Man are presenters on which Irish-based radio station? Atlantic 252. Is correct. Good round there. You're on 21. Will you go for the honours for two? We'll take it, please. You will. And it is a sports question, particularly soccer. Here it is. Name either of the two South American countries who took part in the first World Cup final in 1930. Uruguay. 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 Is correct. And they beat Argentina 4-2. You get your two points. The end of the round, Farron Ferris are on 23 points. <laughs> That's great. Well done.
So, uh, high scoring group final, just three points separate the teams as we move into round three. And as you know, it's our specialist round for each team but one person on the spot. John is team captain for St. Charlotte's. Is it Kieran again? Yeah. It is Kieran, your brother Kieran. And remind us of your category? Uh, sport. How have you done so far? Uh, four out of six and six out of six. Well done. And good luck this time to Kieran Murphy taking on sport for Toome. <laughs> Anthony is team captain for Farron Furs. Are you on the spot again? Yeah. You are. And remind us of your category? Uh, music and entertainment. Music and entertainment. And uh, what, how did you do so far? Uh, five both times. Right. Good luck to Anthony O'Connor taking on music and entertainment for Farron Furs. Right, Kieran is sitting comfortably and awaiting six questions on sport because that's his chosen category. Kieran, your first question is this: Jody Gormley and Paul O'Neill play senior football for which Ulster county? Tyrone. Is correct. Question number two: Which Irish golfer was beaten by Constantino Rocca in the semi-final of the European leg of the 1997 Anderson Consulting World Championship? Darren Clark. Is correct. Two out of two. Question number three: In the 1997 FA Cup final. Which Chelsea player scored after just 42 seconds? Roberto Di Matteo. Is correct, and it was a beauty. That's three out of three. Question number four. Liam Horan is a GAA correspondent with which national daily newspaper? The Irish Independent. Is correct, four out of four. Question number five. On which river is the annual Oxford-Cambridge boat race held? The Thames. Is correct, five out of five. And your final question is this. Laura Serrano and Danielle Summers are world champions at which contact sport? Judo. No, it's boxing. But you did very well. You got five out of six, bringing your team score up to 30. Well done. Well done, Kieran. <laughs> Anthony is team captain. He's also on the spot for Farron Fer Ferris, and he's chosen musical entertainment as his specialist topic. Anthony, six questions for you. Here's your first. Guiding Star was a 1997 single by which Liverpool four piece? Cast. That's correct. Question number two. Who is the male star of the hit thrillers Con Air and The Rock? Sean Connery. No. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Sean Connery was in The Rock OK, but he wasn't in Con Air. Right, one out of two. Question number three. In which century did French composer Emmanuel Chabrier live and die? The 19th. That's correct. Born in 1841, died in 1894. That's two out of three. Question number four. Niall O'Neill and Adam Mates are members of which Irish pop band? OTT. That's correct. We won't ask how you knew that. Three out of four. Question number five. Which muscle-bound actor played the part of Gabe Walker in the action thriller Cl Cliffhanger? Sylvester Stallone. Is correct. So that's four out of five, your qu final question. The local radio station CKR is based in which Leinster County? Carlow. Is correct. And it's uh, uh, Carlow Kildare Radio. You get five out of six, bring your team score up to 33. Well done, Anthony. Two very good specialist rounds. They can take a well-deserved break, as I tell you about our viewers' quiz. We have £500 worth of Wrangler clothing to give away, and you can choose from their great seasonal and core denim ranges of jackets, shirts, sweatshirts, and jeans. If you'd like to win this £500 voucher, answer this question. Who did Ken Doherty defeat in the 1997 final of the World Snooker Championship? Who did Ken Doherty defeat in the 1997 final of the World Snooker Championship? If you know the answer, you can ring 1550-844-433. That's 1550-844-433. If you're in Northern Ireland, uh, ring 0891-88-1939. 0891-88-1939. And good luck with that. We're in the final of Group 11, just three points separating the teams. It's been a high-scoring game so far. We enter round four now, and we ask Einstein to make a selection for St. Charlotte's. They've had sport and geography so far. This time it's geography again. Stay. Stay. Yeah. You got it in the second round and did well. Kieran, two questions for you. In which Ulster County will you find the towns of Dunloy and Ballymena? Antrim. Is correct. Question number two. If your plane took off from Indira Gandhi International Airport, which Indian city would you be leaving? Indira Gandhi International Airport. Calcutta. No, it's New Delhi. New Delhi. So down the end to Pat, two questions for you. On which Paris thoroughfare will you find the Arc de Triomphe? Champs Elysees. Is correct. Question number two. Which narrow stretch of water separates Spain from North Africa? The Straits of Gibraltar. Is correct. Team Captain John. Santa Catarina and Bahia are states in which large South American country? Santa Catarina and Bahia. 
or states in which large South American country? Brazil. Is correct. And your second question, which EU country's flag is a blue cross on a white background? Finland. Is correct. Right, that's a good round again. You're on 40. Now, at present, you are seven points in front, but the lads from Farm First do have a round in hand. Remember that. And if they do well in that round and they get all their answers right and the honours question, they can score 16. So if you get the honours question right, you'll be on 44. If you get it wrong, you're on 36. No. No. Okay. So at the end of that round, St. Charles are on 40 points. The choice is theirs. We're still in round four for the lads from Cork City. Aaron Ferris in particular, they've had geography and music and entertainment. That is art and literature. Anthony? Stay. Stay on that. Okay, Connor, two questions for you. What nationality was the renowned poet Hugo von Hofmannsthal? German? No, he's actually Austrian. He was born in 1874 and he died in 1929. Your second question. Steve Sutherland is the editor of a weekly music magazine. But is it the New Musical Express or the Melody Maker? New Musical Express. The enemy is correct. Two points there. Podrick, your two questions. Which Irish band were the subject of a controversial biography by Eamon Dunphy? Which Irish band were the subject of a controversial biography by Eamon Dunphy? Confer. Conferring. You too. You too is correct. You get a point for that. And your second question. Which great Italian artist painted The Last Judgment and The Conversion of St. Paul? Which great Italian artist painted The Last Judgment and The Conversion of St. Paul? Confer. Conferring. Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Michelangelo is correct. You get a point there. My team captain, Anthony. Can you complete the title of this Pulitzer Prize-winning novel by John Steinbeck? The Grapes of... Roth. Is correct. Your second question. Which novel by Stephen King was made into a memorable horror movie starring Jack Nicholson? The Shining. Is correct. Now, let's have a look at your score there. You're on 41, Schumer on 40, but you do have that, the opportunity of going for the honest question. If you get it right, you'll be five points in front going into the final round. We're going to go for it. You're going to go for it. Okay. It's a musical entertainment question, particularly on the movies. Here it is for four points, an important question for you. Which Dublin actor played the part of Nick Mullen in the 1985 political thriller, Defence of the Realm? Which Dublin actor played the part of Nick Mullen in the 1985 political thriller, Defence of the Realm? Four points. Gabriel Byrne. Is the correct answer, you get your four points, so at the end of the round, Farn Ferris are on 45 points. Uh, we're in the final of Group 11. Next up is our deciding round. It's our rapid-fire buzzer round. So five points is a small enough margin going into the rapid-fire buzzer round. You know that by now. Just a reminder to both teams, it is an individual round. So please, only the person whose light is, is illuminated may answer the question. Right. The next minute will decide who goes forward to phase two of this year's Blackboard Jungle, which means they're in the final 12 of 96 schools, which is a great achievement. Both teams have done very well so far. Uh, well done, and good luck in this final minute. Our minute starts now. During the American Civil War, what was the name of the demarcation line between the Union North and the Co Confederate South? Nobody. The Mason-Dixon line. Uh, which country did Lee Dixon play international football for? Farron Ferris. England. Is correct. Which English test cr cricket ground would you find in Yorkshire? Tume? The Oval. No, it's Headingley. One point deducted. If your bag baggage tag read SFX, which Californian city would you be heading for? Farron Ferris? San Francisco. Is correct. In which Francis Ford Coppola Vietnam War movie? Fuck it's now. Is correct for Tume. Is Be Here Now the first, second or third album? Third. Is correct for for Oasis and for Tomb. What's the third month of the year? Tomb? March. Is correct. How many days are there in the month of September? Uh, Farron Ferris? 30. Is correct. In which year did, in, sorry, in the 1930s did the Night of the Long Knives take place? 1934. Is correct. Uh, when I'm 64 is a popular song? Beatles. No, I was looking for the name of the LP. It's Sergeant Peppers. On which night of the week is the TV show Hot Milk and Pepper on? Farron Ferris? Sunday. Is correct. For which Sunday newspaper does Declan Lynch write a column called? Sunday Farron Ferris? Sunday Independent. Is correct. <laughs> Well, it's head in hands time for Tomb. Uh, the question was, if you let me finish it, uh, When I'm 64 is a popular song from which great Beatles album? And uh, the answer is Sgt. Pepper, so I couldn't give you the points for that. Uh, 46, very good score. You did very well on all three occasions. Thanks for coming along. And you get those CD Walkmans each as well. Well done to Pat, John and Kieran.
And congratulations to the lads from St. Finbar Seminary. You've come out of a very dramatic group, and we'll see you back here very shortly because we're near the end of phase one. Uh, you get those get a blasters each. Well done to Connor, Anthony, and Podrick. <laughs> okay, I'll take a good run at this because uh, it's time for me to fill you in on the group winners' table. Uh, the winners of Group 1 were Colossia Killian from Clondalkin in Dublin, Belvedere College from Dublin won Group 2, the Group 3 winners, Colossia Owen from Athai in County Kildare, the winners of Group 4 were Presentation Brothers College from Cork, the Group 5 winners, CBS St. Joseph's Nina County Tipperary, St. Mary CBS and Carlo won Group 6, CBS Mitchellstown from County Cork won Group 7, uh, group 8 winners, St. Comans College, Clare Morris County, Mayo. Um, group 9 winners, Douglas Community School from Cork. Uh, group 10 winners, Patrician College, Ballyfin County, Leash. And now the group 11 winners, another Cork team, St. Finbar Seminary from Farm Ferris in Cork City. Next time on Blackboard Jungle, we start Group 12, the final group in Phase 1 of this year's Blackboard Jungle. And the first game is between Garbley College from Ballinasloan County, Galway, and they take on Gonzaga College from Dublin. Join us then on Blackboard Jungle. Bye for now.